Continuity is, is a pretty important feature of a function. It comes up all the time in theorems. So let's, let's see if we can figure out what, what continuity is. Continuity, if a function is continuous, it essentially means that you can draw it without lifting your pen. And that's a pretty good understanding of continuity, but let's get a, a more precise definition. So when we, let's say we have some function and we want to consider is it continuous at some x value. So when x is c, let's say, some, just some x value, is the function continuous there? And for it to be continuous, three conditions must be met. The first condition is that f of c, so the function at, at that x value, must be defined. Must be defined. Okay, so let's, let's look at, at, at that, where that might fail. So here, there's a hole in the function at, at f of, uh, 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 when x is c. When x is c, f of c is, is undefined. There's a hole. Okay, so this function here is not continuous. And that's pretty obvious just from looking at it because we, we wouldn't be able to draw that without lifting our pen because there's a hole there. Okay, another condition, or, or th uh, there's three of them, so the next condition is that the limit as x approaches c of f of x must exist. So let's take a look at where that might fail. Okay, so here, in this case, here's c f of c is defined. This is f of c right there. This, this point is c, f of c. Okay, so f of c is defined, but this limit clearly doesn't exist, and, and, and the function also is clearly not continuous. So it fails because the limit here does not exist. Or, or, or I shouldn't say it fails, but if we're testing for continuity, you know, we could say, no, this is not continuous. Okay. And then the final condition for a function to be continuous at a point or at any at a, at a certain x value is that the limit as x approaches c of f of x must equal f of c. So let's take a look at that. So let's say here is c. Okay, so if this is what our function looked like, then condition one would be met. f of c is defined. This is f of c up here. You plug c in, you get this height out. This is, this is, this is the point. Okay. The limit also exists. As we approach c, the heights of this function approach where this hole is. This limit exists, and, and it's the height of that hole, basically. So that's, that's the limit. But the limit is not equal to the function. You can see the limit and, and, and the limit is not equal to f of c. That's pretty clear. So this here, test three, fails and this function is not continuous. And that makes sense because, you know, clearly this is not continuous. The function jumps up to this point and then continues on its way. Okay, so we, we're going to need to use these uh, three, three tests, essentially, these three conditions to figure out if a function is continuous at, at a certain x value. Now for a function to be continuous everywhere, not just at one x value, but everywhere, well that just means that it's continuous at every x value. But that doesn't mean that we're going to have to test every single x value. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's say this is the graph of our function. To figure out if this is continuous everywhere, we're not going to have to test you know, every, every point, that would be impossible. We can determine if a function is continuous everywhere by knowing what it's made of. And, and I know that sounds really general, 
but we'll see an example of that in the next video. So you'll get some concrete example then. See you then.